The battle for Graceland is over at last. But what does Priscilla's apparent victory mean for the Presley family? Lisa Marie Presley's unexpected death left many things up in the air, including her assets and estate. When the musician passed away, she left behind a trust that included the famous Graceland property, as well as stakes in Elvis Presley Enterprises. But who was to receive those assets after her death? This question spawned a lengthy legal battle, culminating in a settlement after five long months. In January 2023, Priscilla Presley seemed to be eager to take charge of her daughter's estate as she believed she was the appointed trustee. However, a new document brought forth in January named Lisa Marie's daughter, Riley Keough, and her late son, Benjamin Keough, as the official trustees. This would make Riley the sole trustee at the time of her death. I love her, and I don't know what to say. She's much further advanced than I ever was. But Priscilla was not about to let this slide. She questioned the authenticity of the document, claiming the signature was inconsistent with Lisa Marie's. She also insisted that the document was never shared with her, which would have been required to change the named trustee. This new document caused a great deal of tension in the Presley family, and Priscilla and Riley reportedly ended up at odds with one another. Over time, however, the two have seemingly come to an agreement, as the case has finally been settled. And it looks like Priscilla is walking away with a lot lot more than some might have expected. It's hard to know the exact details of this agreement, and details about the settlement are scarce. However, TMZ has revealed that Priscilla walked away with a lump sum of money somewhere in the millions. Leading up to the final decision, Keo and Priscilla were on good terms, despite all the rumors of bad blood. A source revealed to Entertainment Tonight that Priscilla had opened up about the supposed feud during a Q&A. The source shared, The rumors weren't true. It was very brief, but Priscilla just said, Don't believe what's been said. It looks like Priscilla Priscilla was telling the truth, too, because despite her hefty payout, both parties seem happy with the settlement. After the matter was resolved, Priscilla's lawyer told reporters, "...they have reached a settlement. Families are happy. Everyone is happy, unified and together, and excited for the future." Meanwhile, Keo's attorney shared, "...Riley would not have agreed to the settlement if she was not happy with it." So it looks like the Presley family is back on track as they move forward from this bump in the road. At least, that's what Priscilla hopes for. In a new statement issued to the Los Angeles Times, she shut down the link lingering rumors of ill intent towards her granddaughter. It read, "...I want to make clear that there was never any lawsuit filed against my beloved granddaughter. As a family, we are pleased that we resolved this together. My family and I hope that everyone will grant us the privacy we have needed to properly grieve Lisa Marie and spend personal time together." Much of the battle for Lisa Marie Presley's estate seems to have revolved around the family's Graceland property. The question of who would own Graceland cropped up shortly after Lisa Marie Presley died in January 2023. At first, the answer seemed obvious. Ownership, which previously belonged to Lisa, would be transferred to Riley Keough and her minor sisters. But then Priscilla Presley contested Lisa's wishes, making way for a possibly nasty fight over Elvis Presley's famous former estate. It's possible that Priscilla walked away with rights to property, although this hasn't been confirmed. Notably, back in 2006, Priscilla shut down speculation that Lisa Marie was gearing up to sell the famous property. She told People magazine, "...nobody is selling Graceland. Lisa is the sole heir to Graceland." She owns the house and the grounds. It will be a place for her and the children to visit forever. 